we're excited to announce in-app guidance enhancements in Spring 20. On the Setup in-app guidance homepage, there's now a search that allows you to search across any field for prompts. In this example, we're going to search for risk. And as you can see, only two appear. It's super easy to use. We've also relocated a few things and added some new functionality to the prompt settings. Instead of a toggle, there is now a checkbox to enable and disable custom prompts, as well as for the Salesforce standard prompts. There's also new functionality added for the delay between prompt setting. It has always been 24 hours per user per app between prompts. However, we're now giving you, the admin, full control. It will still be defaulted to 24 hours, but you can change this up to 99 hours and 59 minutes, or all the way down to zero. There will be a message if it's at zero hours and minutes for prompts that will appear one after another. Now, we're going to edit a floating prompt. We've now added profiles, so you now have the option to add profiles for user access. Therefore, any standard or custom profiles you've created will be available. If you choose to use profiles and permissions, the user will need to have at least one of the profiles and all the permissions to see the prompt. Permissions are the same, and under content, we've increased the character limit of the body to 240 characters instead of 120. For schedule, we've added a checkbox to enable or disable whether to show a prompt when the page loads, irrespective of any of the prompts the user has already seen. Thus, no matter what the delay is, the user should see this prompt since it's checked as soon as the page loads. On preview, you will now see a new design for the floating prompts. It is now left aligned with the new icon. Additionally, for docked prompts, the same profiles and permission settings as floating prompts remain. However, on the content side, you can now author a video. There is a place to embed a video link and ensure you use the proper construction for the URL to include embed. You can check your standard YouTube video for more information. You'll see the same checkbox there to make the prompt show immediately if you'd like. And on preview, you'll see the video is available and the text is below, and maximize to see a larger version. Finally, translation is now fully supported for all prompts if you go to the translation workbench. These in-app guidance enhancements will allow you to onboard users faster than ever before.